So my name is Maria Zanik. I'm an assistant professor in cell and developmental biology at Vanderbilt. And I've joined Vanderbilt about two years ago. And we are very interested in research on microtubule cytoskeleton. So microtubules are biological polymers. They're inside of cells. They're highly dynamic. And they play very important roles inside of cells. For example, um, microtubules build different structures. Uh, a beautiful structure that microtubules build is a mitotic spindle. So it's really like a spindle where you have dynamic microtubules that organize and grow and shrink and capture chromosomes and pull them apart in order for cell to divide. So microtubules are polymers that are essential for life of the cell in many cellular processes. My postdoctoral studies were in the field of biophysics and um, there I really developed this interest in studying uh, microtubule cytoskeleton in a minimal reconstitution uh, system. So what we do is we work with purified proteins and we build um, cellular-like systems with minimal components and we really try to understand how microtubules grow and shrink and how that behavior is regulated. So for that, uh, we use light microscopy a lot. That is our primary um, data collection method. And we do use, um, we do have our own microscope system, which is also an icon system. It's a turf microscope. Um, and it's really a fantastic um, equipment, piece of equipment that allows us to study microtubules in reconstitution. So with uh, turf microscopy, what we can do is we have a very controlled system where we're looking at, we're specifically looking at microtubules dynamically growing and shrinking on the surface of a cover slip, imaging with total internal reflection fluorescence, which allows very, uh, very high uh, signal to background. And so we can really look at um, dynamics of microtubules in detail. Now the reason that we are really excited about this um, Nikon Center of Excellence is that it provides us with access to equipment with, that we don't normally have and do not typically use in our lab. And so my students are um, particularly excited about looking at microtubules inside of cells. And for that, we come to the Nikon Center of Excellence, where now we can really use uh, state-of-the-art microscopes to look at microtubules now within cells and compare that and contrast to the behavior that we see in reconstitution. So basically what we can do is go back and forth now and generate hypotheses from our research that we do in minimal reconstitution system and then test those hypotheses in cells and vice versa. So the microscopes here in, in uh, this new facility will allow us really uh, fantastic opportunities to look uh, very carefully at how microtubules behave inside of cells, how they build these dynamic structures and how that behavior is regulated in cells. Another um, aspect of the Nikon Center of Excellence that we're really excited about is um, access to super resolution microscopy. So in addition to these turf techniques that we do have in our own lab, uh, what we can do now here is look with more detail, with higher resolution in really the behavior of these dynamic microtubule structures, uh, both in uh, reconstitution systems as well as in cellular systems. So I, I grew up in Croatia and uh, I was very excited about natural sciences and ultimately I ended up um, studying physics. And I pursued these studies throughout my first master's degree in Croatia, and then I continued with PhD studies at University of Texas at Austin, where I obtained PhD in physics. I was always really intrigued by the cell as really the basic element of life. And although during my PhD I really didn't have contact with biology, I was always drawn to problems in, in cell biology. And then uh, towards the end of my PhD, I thought that perhaps the skills and methods that I have acquired uh, in physics could be applied to study uh, cellular phenomena. So I sought to do uh, postdoctoral studies in biophysics. And um, I was immediately drawn to cytoskeleton. So cytoskeleton is really a network of biological polymers that uh, makes real machines inside of cells and exerts forces, pushing and pulling. Um, different cytoskeletal components are really essential for transport of different molecules and organelles and vesicles inside of cells. And it's really this network of 
dynamic polymers that perform all these amazing functions inside of cells that drew me and my sort of natural interest for studying dynamics. And what is wonderful about cytoskeleton that it yields itself very easily to physical and really interdisciplinary characterizations. And so uh, I found myself applying and thinking about uh, principles that are really um, anchored in, in physics and biophysics and using the tools of biophysics, which is such as single molecule approaches to understand how these specific polymers, microtubules inside of cells uh, are regulated, how they dynamically grow and shrink and build uh, different structures. Before coming to Vanderbilt, I really was not exposed as much to studies on the cellular levels, and I was not involved in cellular level studies. Um, I started my lab two years ago in a department of cell and developmental biology, which was extremely exciting for me because it gave me access to really an immensely rich world of cell biology through uh, interactions with other people in the department and collaborations that I have fostered here uh, by being here at Vanderbilt. Um, so we have slowly really tried to, we're slowly trying to um, understand and incorporate our approaches that are really these biophysical reconstitution minimal system approaches and bring them closer to cell biology and really have this interface of single molecule level and single polymer level biophysics outside of cell, building those systems outside of cell and then linking them to cell biology. So being here at Vanderbilt has given me a unique opportunity to interact with a very vibrant and strong cell biological community that works on cytoskeleton. And also, you know, we have these tremendous resources like the new um, imaging center that allow us to do these sorts of um, um, investigations in parallel.